Welcome back to Google SketchUp for Architecture Students brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. In this short video we're going to just apply some material properties to the elements we've created to give it a more of a sense of realism and give it some context. Now it's dead easy to apply materials um, to the elements. Now if we go to the left hand toolbar, the paint bucket tool, if we select that we'll pull up our materials palette. Now in the materials palette you can see there's a series of pull down menus in the default. Now we're going to use wood and I'm going to select this one here which is just a lumber, butt joined lumber. Now I'm going to select first my components. Now I'm going to double click so that I'm in edit mode. Now to ensure that I've got all edges and surfaces selected I'm going to triple click the element and then apply my paint bucket tool to that element. Use my arrow key to then exit out of that and you can see I've changed the one beam and it's applied it to all of the, com the beams that are of that same component. Now if I undo that, if I accidentally I'm editing the component, select just one face, get my fill tool, apply that. Oops, I need to select that. Edit out of that. Then you'll notice that because I've only selected the one face, it's applied the fill just to one face and it hasn't copied it to all the other surfaces. So in this instance, it doesn't give us a, the effect that we want. So I'm going to control Z to exit out of that make sure that I triple click select the element, the finish, sorry paint bucket that there we go going to do the same for the beams so double click to edit the component then triple click the component to make sure that I've got everything select the timber that I want and then fill that then arrow key to exit out of that now the last thing I'm going to do is edit the column component, double click to pull up the edit of that component, triple click to make sure that I've got all of the edges and surfaces. Now this time, oops, I'm going to look for steel, I want a steel column, so let's go metal, um, rough metal, and then we'll just fill that, exit out of that, and there you can see we've then applied a fill to the one component that has then copied it to all of the similar components we've gone through how to select and how to make the fills and we've also seen some of the nuances of selection to make sure that we fill all the elements or in fact if we only want to fill one surface